It's the summertime. So that means we have not as much news, so we gotta make things up as we go. Hence, this. But more or less, the only news that we have now are players getting married, the day with the cup, and players and the fish they catch. So the news cycle is a little bit slow, and we just have to kind of grasp at straws for news and for things to talk about, and that is what I am doing right now. This week's video, we are going over my bold predictions for the 2019-2020 season. There's a fine line between bold and stupid, and I'm probably gonna cross it, but it doesn't matter. These were just the first 10 that I could think of. If I didn't include your team or didn't include one that I should have, I it's not personal, it's just I was drunk and that's what I came up with. If they come true, obviously I knew what the f I was talking about, but if none of this happens, I was drinking. So, <laughs> number one, the Pittsburgh Penguins miss the playoffs. My reasons for this is that one, I am from Philadelphia, so I always have to root for the Pens not making the playoffs because I can't trust my team to do anything of value. And I'm gonna add a 1A to this point that I also think Mike Sullivan is the first coach to be fired um, because uh, their only saving grace is that they are very lucky that Columbus went all in and that they only have half of a team now. Right, moving on to the next one. Ottawa has less than five controversies. Now this is asking a lot of Eugene Melnick. I know it is, but I'm hoping for Senators fans that they get a little bit of a break this season. Number three is that the LA Kings win 29 games or less. So if you lose that many games, you should pretty much be guaranteed a pretty decent draft pick. And if you get screwed again, I apologize. You can yell at me in April 2020. But right now, my prediction is that you guys will win. No, you will lose. No, yeah, you will win 29 games or less. Please, Bailey, don't hate me. <laughs> Number four terrible prediction for the 2019-2020 season, the NJ Devil takes over as best mascot. Now hear me out. He has been trolling the sh out of, who do I got my arm around here? Like, hey baby. <laughs> He's been having a summer so far. And I feel like with all of the news that's circulating in, in New Jersey, you have PK Subban, you got the number one overall draft pick. It is NJ Devil's time to shine. My number five prediction is that the Colorado Avalanche win the West. They are the 2019-2020 regular season Western Conference champions. Raise the banner right now, Colorado. On that note, since I made fun of Nashville earlier, you guys know I love you, Nashville. We're gonna call this 5B. I think Nashville misses the playoffs this season. I know they got Duchesne. It's just that they were such this lackluster team who had this god awful power play. And I'm sorry guys, I'm really, really sorry. Just blame Drunk Jillian, that's whose fault it is. I'm only halfway through, I need to, fin I need to f get moving on this. All right, number six, playing off of my comment about Nashville's power play, the New York Islanders fix their power play. Oh, we all know that's not gonna happen, but I love you guys anyways, and hopefully you can still be first in the Metro for a good chunk of the season, even with a terrible power play. Please don't yell at me. All right, number seven. The Tampa Bay Lightning win the Atlantic again, which means you know who plays in the first round again. That's right, Boston and Toronto play in the first round again, meaning that two great teams have to face off and one great team gets eliminated in the first round. Number eight. Pedersen has a sophomore slump. But here's where it's gonna be good for you guys. You'll finish at a lower spot, meaning you have a better chance of a better draft pick. So you can thank me later, Vancouver. Thank me later. <laughs> Number nine is that the Arizona Coyotes will make the freaking playoffs. I, I actually love this idea. One, because I think it's great for Arizona. But number two, I love it because my first prediction was that the Pens missed the playoffs. And I would love nothing more than for Phil Kessel, the only Pittsburgh Penguin that I actively rooted for, to make the playoffs in Arizona while the Pens miss the playoffs. <laughs> you hate to see it. <laughs> and number 10, my final prediction for the 2019-2020 season is that the Dallas Stars will win the Stanley Cup. You can yell at me later, Dallas, when you miss the playoffs and you can say that I jinxed you. In all seriousness, we know that the Stanley Cup playoffs make 
absolutely no sense. And really what it comes down to is getting a hot goalie. So as long as Bennington decides to get nervous, the Dallas Stars have a legitimate chance. They have the goaltending, they have talented defense, and they have good top level forwards. Plus, they now have Joe Pavelski, and it would be the ultimate San Jose choke if Pavelski comes to Dallas and wins a cup the first year after leaving San Jose. I'm sorry, San Jose. This is just how the shit works. All right, guys, those are my predictions for the 2019-2020 NHL season. I'm very curious what are some of your bold and stupid predictions. No judgments here. I have a lot of crazy ones. Uh, so please let me know what some of your predictions are. And as always, thank you guys for watching and cheers to hockey. Woo! Mm. That was not a good idea. Not a good idea. Uh, Love you guys. Bye.